Hello, EA group members. If you're coming from YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Google+, please search International Artist Group on Facebook. This is GC, and today I'm going to go over Dreamweaver and how do you build a page if you don't have any experience at all building websites and many of you know that uh, coding is part of the trade in making websites but uh, I'm gonna show you how Dreamweaver makes it a lot easier to work with uh, websites without knowing or knowing just a little bit how to modify the code and I have here pulled up all the templates that I consider to be okay to use now some of them are a little bit uh, over uh, the scope for a site that it's uh, just like a static site meaning that it has information uh, there is no login in there is no password there is no database and the templates are all located under file new and under bootstrap we have all these templates here on the right which are pretty good to use now you don't have to use everything or you can use just parts of them that's what I'm going to do with my site uh, also I looked at basic layouts uh, it's just horrible the way it looks uh, I don't like the layout at all uh, it looks very old and also the bootstrap templates agency e-commerce uh, looks kind of old to me that also looks kind of outdated uh, portfolio you might be able to use part of it for your artwork if you're gonna add artwork and there is also a page for product real estate resume it looks okay if you want to put your resume online you can uh, this is just an HTML file it's not uh, it doesn't have anything in it and I'll go over that in a minute and then there is a uh, email templates uh, now if you uh, updated all your uh, DMX plugins and you got all these templates here uh, congratulations all these are free and I might use one of these templates this one is responsive uh, for a newsletter these are uh, grids uh, templates for newsletters and the last option I looked at it it's more for like a e-commerce setup um i don't know how that can be responsive if it is it takes a lot of work to make something like that responsive uh, you might have to work with that but like i said all these templates are free and they come with different things i'm gonna show you right now what i mean by that for example this split here which is uh, the first one under bootstrap basic marketing site and here is the template I mean it's it's just a, a menu login options uh, hello world blah 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 and what I mean by extras uh, this template has also a JavaScript file a bootstrap JS file JavaScript again um, another bootstrap file this one is rewritable it's a bootstrap CSS and bootstrap responsive and this applies to all the templates that you're gonna find they're all gonna have different files attached like a library or whatever it needs to work properly and it gets that from the internet there is a lot of code inside these files and for someone to actually type this and do this by hand it would take a while it would take a long time it's a lot of work to do stuff like this and you have to know a lot about coding and also the libraries and how to import libraries and all that and 
I'll show you what it looks on the root folder of uh, my server hopefully you got your server working and your site is uh, visible and I'm gonna pull up my site really quick that I'm working on and there we are I'm gonna actually close all this other stuff And it looks like a closed mine. Okay, let's let's reopen it. Okay. Um, yesterday I made a video and it was about the servers. Um, I'm using the Synology NAS and yesterday this was marked red. It showed the files in, in inside them, but it was marked red. And that is because if you do your if you have your own server you're gonna have to um, go to your computer and then look for the servers and double click on them just to turn them on just like that and uh, and then restart Dreamweaver that way Dreamweaver knows that the servers are on and the servers are on and I'm gonna go to the folder that I created and I picked the template from bootstrap which has all these other files and I'll show you those files in the folder of uh, the site they're right here, these two folders. This is the, the page that I save as index.html. And in the bootstrap folder, we have different files um, for the, the way it looks, uh, the ICO. Um, this has to do with the favicon. Uh, the favicon is the, for you guys that don't know, is the little uh, logo uh, on the browser on the on at the top and it has different things that it's gonna need and then we're gonna change inside this folders so I'm going to create here another folder and this is gonna be images and close that I'm gonna go back to Dreamweaver and I'm going to quickly work on the first thing and the first thing is let's take a look at the at the site how it looks on the browser uh, I'm gonna save all first and then I'm gonna click on this icon down here to the right real-time preview is also under file real-time preview so I'm gonna click on this little icon and then I'm gonna click Google Chrome and here's the page it has a drop down it's working the link this is supposed to be the home page link should be working the slider is working the buttons look like they're working we're gonna see this uh, on the phone view tablet the menu is working, the drop down is working everything is centered which that's what I'm looking for and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pretty much create a general page it's gonna have the menu it's gonna have the footer at the end with my social media icons and then in between that is going to change the information in between the pictures in between but it's gonna stay the same throughout the entire site the menu is gonna be the same throughout the entire site the slider I'm gonna see if I can maybe copy du duplicate the, the slider and and have all the pictures uh, shown 
or removed and that's pretty much it it's gonna be a site that is uh, phone friendly so the first thing I have to do is I'm going to go to live view and I'm going to edit the menu so I'm gonna click on project name and I'm gonna go to code let's just go to the top source code Right. there are some meta tags here we're gonna add some more later but let's start changing the stuff here um, if I can make this bigger okay okay it looks like I'm gonna maybe be able to add the footer CSS in this section actually here it is here's the footer section the only thing I have to do is just change the CSS the code that I get from the other one so it might work it might not work I'm not really sure let me go back to split view This has to be at a hundred percent. All right, so I need to edit the menu. I'm gonna go back to code view. So I'm looking for project name. I'm looking for the menu. okay here we go so I found this section here for the nap, nap bar project name I'm going to do oops it would be good if you get um, if you get a book on HTML5 CSS3 and JavaScript and you read that okay that will help you a lot here um, to understand what's happening alright so I switch it I switch this to the Kalala gallery um, okay home I need to pull up my other side figure it out okay okay so I have home I have shop about us donate ear group blog links menu and then under menu I have like articles and events and guest book contact us commissions exhibition history terms and conditions alright I'm going to start I wish I had two screens right now alright so I'm going to do here shop I'm gonna do all caps let me just save this and take a look I wanna see if I'm doing this on the right side it might be on the wrong side okay so the changes have come through and they're showing on real time so okay so I might not have them have to do them all in caps Sometimes I do. Mm, 
just to make it um, easier for people to read I'm still working on the logo of the International Artist Group Huh, what's this? Oh boy. Okay, uh, no, 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 not now. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, don't have any good blog. Okay, so I'm going to do donate because I do take donations. Let me say this. I'm gonna go back to the browser. So I have the Cavallo Gallery shop here group, the drop down. Why is this thing black? Um, I have no idea. Maybe it's to separate the menu from the title of the site. Anyways. Let's look at it on phone view. So, okay, so here you see the black, it does work on the other uh, buttons or links, and down here they are blue. Now, that, that is the CSS for this template which is the bootstrap CSS right Let me go to live view see some some of these uh, files are not visible on different views alright so I'm in light view and the responsive CSS it I think it's it's more here on the bootstrap CSS if you want to change those colors I might do that later I'll have to look into it I'm just gonna fill in the information I'm just gonna change these icons uh, and the menu to what I need to do and pretty much go from there so very easy to do just go to source code click on the menu and it'll take you to the area of the menu which is the nav bar and then from there you can edit each one of the of the links and here they are the Cavallo Gallery shop your group donate okay so change these other ones to what you think they what you need for your site and okay yeah group members and I have run out of time for this video and let me show you what um, what the menu looks like I'm gonna go to Google Chrome and here it is I change all these I added the whatsapp phone number in case you need to reach me and there is also here another menu that is gonna have other things that I'm thinking in doing so I'll show you really quick the code and let me go to code view and here it is here's the nav bar the menu and the beginning of the menu is right here the title of the site and then follow all the other links 
or tabs for the menu and um, you can go through the code and and, and and take your time to to go over it and, and see the differences like here we have a divider a nap header and 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 fill this out and and we have here a drop down menu uh, there are different things that you can do in the menu and uh, and take it from there and i'll work on my next video we'll add some images to this um slider we're going to find these images where they're located inside the root folder to get the size and then we will pick our own images and resize them accordingly and i'll see you guys on my next video thanks for watching